Well, tomorrow is Thanksgiving Day. There will be the usual tradition of family gathered around a table of food and festive holiday cheer. I want to tell you about one memory 49 years ago. I was a 13-year-old kid, and my dad took me down to Briggs Stadium for the famous game of the Detroit Lions playing the Green Bay Packers, led by Bart Starr. They came into Detroit. That was, uh, they were probably 8-0 and at the time. Uh, the Lions had lost a couple of games. Uh, Milt Plum was our quarterback. I remember that. I was a 13-year-old kid. The snows were blowing. Dad and I went uh, down uh, to get bleacher tickets, and we got separated. There was a, the crowd was packed. There were police officers there, well-mannered, but everybody wanted to get into that game. Dad got in ahead of me, and if you remember, up above where the bleachers were those wrought iron bars, and my dad climbed up there calling my name and calling to one of the police officers so I could get in with the ticket that we had, uh, that dad had the extra ticket, and it was a fabulous game. Remember we had that fearsome foursome led by um, Alex Karras, Darius McCord, I think uh, Sam Williams, uh, and Roger Brown. And they sacked Bart Starr probably three or four times. The snows were blowing. And the Lions won that day. Joe Schmidt uh, was in the middle linebacker, as I recall. Uh, Dick Night Train Lane. And it was fabulous. But as a 13-year-old boy, to be able to be there with my dad. Uh, and, you know, Susan and I are going to watch it with our kids uh, when the Green Bay Packers come to town. Uh, tomorrow, and I sure hope that uh, Stafford and the team will uh, will tr be triumphant over Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. But while there will be all that football, we can't forget that Thanksgiving is ultimately about gratitude. One of the traditions that we have in our family uh, at Thanksgiving is that we go around the table and everybody offers one thing that they're grateful for. No matter how difficult things might have been during the during the year, everybody has one thing that they can share. For me, uh, frankly, it'll be two things this year. Um, number one, that I'm grateful that all of our uh, children can, uh, can be with us, um, as many families have experienced in Michigan. Our children have left the state. Uh, three of our four children have, have left Michigan, but they're going to be home for, for Thanksgiving, and for that, Susan and I were, are very grateful. The second thing that I'm grateful for is that I have discovered over the last three and three months that I have been campaigning uh, all of these wonderful groups of people who are working so hard uh, to educate others about our Constitution, about their role in this experiment in self-government. People are genuinely, frankly, scared in the direction of our country, but they're doing what Americans always do. They're coming together to learn more and to act on behalf of freedom. So when we think of Thanksgiving uh, tomorrow, let us be grateful for those pilgrims uh, who first came, uh, William Bradford and that hearty lot of men and women uh, who started this experiment in freedom on this continent. Uh, let us also remember that George Washington and uh, his Thanksgiving address and Abraham Lincoln, uh, who made it official. Uh, but let us, just around the table, be grateful for family, for friends, and for freedom. God bless you all. Thank you for all that you do to make our state and our communities better. Thank you very much. Happy Thanksgiving and Go Lions!